Well, we're thrilled to be here. Um, my name is Deb Archer, and I'm CEO of Destination Madison. And uh, this is National Travel and Tourism Week. We are delighted to be here. Uh, in terms of, uh, we are always interested in reporting what the visitor spending numbers are. And for Dane County, which is the county we represent, we were up 5.2%, $1.3 billion in spending for Dane County, which is a phenomenal number. Uh, section of the state behind Milwaukee County, but we're so proud of what we have to offer. And a place like Sassy Cow Creamery is exactly why visitors love to come to our area and certainly another great way to celebrate one of our great industries, agriculture here. I'm really thrilled to be here. Um, I want one other thing about Sassy Cow Creamery, they are part of a program we call Essential Madison Experiences. We we have created with the help of a grant from the Department of Tourism. But we created these experiences as another way for visitors to come here and really see what this place that we live and love is really all about. So another reason why we wanted to be here to celebrate with Governor Rivers and Secretary of Tourism meeting our National Travel and Tourism Week. So I'm delighted to turn this over to Secretary Sarah Meany to talk about statewide tourism numbers. Thanks, Seth. all over the state today celebrating and educating on why tourism is such a great contributor to the uh, economy in the state of Wisconsin. So I am pleased to let people know uh, that the numbers are once again up consistently and in a steady fashion. So we uh, got the numbers back for 2018 and 21.6 billion dollars in economic impact in the state of Wisconsin in 2018 and we are really pleased to be able to um, share in celebration throughout the state all of that is only possible because of businesses like Sassy Cow, because of the tourism industry and the work of Deb Archer and her team and teams like that all over the state. Um, it's really about collaboration and it's about making sure people understand what's so great about Wisconsin. Now it isn't just about the dollars that people spend in Wisconsin, it's also about job creation. And in 2018 we saw an increase in tourism sustained jobs. 199,073 jobs are sustained by tourism in the state of Wisconsin. So obviously this is an important uh, piece of people's livelihood uh, for our residents in Wisconsin as well. Um, now that means one in every 13 jobs in the state of Wisconsin is tourism sustained and tourism related. So we're very proud of that. One of the most important categories of activity that we saw significant growth in, over 8% growth, in the recreation sector in 2018. So that outpaced the other sectors of tourism throughout the state. Um, and we think that that is a really good indicator and, and continues on the trend that the data is telling us. Uh, the number one marketable driver of visitation to Wisconsin is outdoor recreation. So we know that people go out and recreate in our gorgeous outdoor uh, recreation areas and then they're really hungry and they need to come back and have some fantastic dairy products from places like Sassy Cow. So that's something that we see as another opportunity to continue to build upon the strength that we already have, um, connect the people within the industry of outdoor recreation in order to build further from there, but also to, to can you continue to spread the word about how fantastic Wisconsin is as a destination for outdoor recreation, but also for arts and culture and for our uh, uh, rural and urban uh, attractions alike. So we could not be happier and have a, potentially have ever a better day to celebrate all that is tourism in Wisconsin. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Governor Tony Evers to tell you a bit more about our plans for tourism moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the good news is you're gonna be able to buy some cheese today. <laughs> the other good news is that this, uh, this event has not uh, stopped people from actually buying things while we're talking. Uh, so that just goes to show you how important a retail uh, connection to, uh, to our tourism industry is. There are destinations that it says, hey, come on in, folks. <laughs> come on in. Come and buy the come cheese cakes. Uh, We've been waiting for you. <laughs> so retail is, retail is a part of uh, tourism. So people come. To Sassy Cow from around the state and around from the Midwest to buy their products. We were just in uh, uh, St. 
Stevens Point the other day where a craft uh, distiller had, a, uh, had also a retail part of his business and, and, and he not only distills and sells, sells products elsewhere, but he also obviously sells on, on site. And that retail operation was 50% uh, of his uh, income was through that retail operation. And it was a destination, it was a destination for tourism. So I am so happy to be here today and to be able to purchase some items uh, to take home tonight. But uh, tourism is a big industry in the state of Wisconsin. The Secretary of Media already talked about that. And it is uh, something that has a return on investment that is extraordinary. Uh, for every one dollar, the return on investment is seven dollars in, 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 in tax revenue. Well, that kind of, uh, you know, I've been, I've been around the block for a while and I've never been able to, my wife and I have never gotten that kind of return on investment at bank. But in, in, in the tourism industry, indeed, that, that is a significant issue. So um, the, the good news is that we have a thriving industry and our, my budget for tourism uh, is going to be increasing uh, uh, the, the amount of money that we have for marketing by five, excuse me, five million dollars, which is a, a lot of money. But it's also something that again, pays off in a significant way, a good return on investment. And it's also one of those areas that I think does bridge that divide if there is one between Republicans and Democrats. It's a nonpartisan issue. People believe in tourism, believe in uh, retail outlets like this uh, that become destinations for, for tours. And uh, so it's, it's an important part of, uh, important part of our, our DNA in Wisconsin. We're looking forward to having a uh, legislature approve that budget. In addition, we're creating an office for outdoor uh, recreation in the department. And, and we've looked at that uh, for some time because uh, since I've become governor, I've realized talking to other governors in other states, having a separate office for outdoor recreation is a good idea. Colorado, and I believe it's Utah, I have had those uh, offices and it's dramatically increased uh, uh, tourism industry. The last thing I'll say is that, as uh, Secretary Meany talked about, the recent information around what's happening in, in tourism and, and uh, in the state of Wisconsin is good. We're above the national average by 2%. Well, I also come from the world of uh, public education where a C isn't uh, where we want to be. We want to actually and make sure that uh, going forward we significantly uh, exceed expectations in this area. So thank you, Sassy Cow, for allowing us to be here today. And uh, uh, what a great operation. Did I hear right on the news last night that you were increasing your clients here by three times in the retail world? Yeah. yeah. So you think about that. Three, the retail part of this operation, clearly the dairy part is the most important part of it, but the retail part of it has become such a destination that they're increasing the size by 3%, so, or three times, which is extraordinary. So, Great to be here and great to recognize the business. So thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I want to thank the governor for the foresight of uh, adding the money to the budget so we can be competitive. And I know Secretary Meany's done a lot of data researching already about where the things we can improve to keep, to keep us competitive with those neighboring states, which I'm not going to name, but that we want to make sure that we are drawing as many visitors here as we possibly can. Um, so anyway, thank you both. You She's also an amazing choice to yes. run the department. We're very excited about that. So now, James and your great team, I understand we're going to have a little tour, and we want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you. James, did you want to thank everyone?